South Africa's like a box of Smarties. You get the red ones, the pink ones, the half browns, the yellows, and then you get the melted half colorfuls. And every now and then you come across one that's just an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you cops. I don't expect to catch anybody in this little starter pack. Hey, man, I'll just take your number plate and I'll know where you live. Ah, oh, lady, I don't have a number plate. I've got this. 05 for Smart Bravo 2. Hey, this young man. Hello. Hey. All vehicles on this channel, please prepare for the dinner switch. Zero six will be for a Kiyosa Supra, red and black in colour. No registration number, one bus to mile. Oscar Bravo 4 Oscar Bravo 1-7. No one's needed for me. Whoa, Black Sam is making a U-turn, he's making a U-turn. I need cars, I need cars. We're going back to the mic one, we're going back to the mic one. I need cars to come and assist me, please. Close the highway. Close the armrest, close the armrest. Any vehicles on the line, 13 ways, please respond to 05. Oscar Bravo 17 on my way. No one's here responding. Oscar Bravo 13, Oscar Bravo 14. I need to be close off the armrest for me to the mic 13 ways. Oscar Bravo 13, I'll close the armrest. Oscar Bravo 44 is approaching you fast. 05, the armrest is closed. Now I see the cars, I see the cars, he's slowing down, slowing down. Okay, 05, you can cancel other vehicles, please stop. Everybody involved, thank you, last shot. Okay, Oscar Bravo 04, 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 Oscar
It's like, why well, stop eating? <laughs> you still here? Yeah. Let's clarify a couple of things. I was a racist. No, I mean, really, I was. I had a drunken night in a shabeen back in the 80s, an intimate night with a woman who then decided I was the wrong color to be a father to her son. Go figure. But instead, I just went and threw myself into my racing and running my Automate franchise. This is my job. This place used to have class, you know. That's until you came. <laughs> You're a skinny kid serving milkshakes at a roadhouse. What do you face now? I still want wheels. One day? You're a one-day wannabe. You're always gonna be a one-day wannabe. The only wheels you'll ever see is that bicycle under yours. Look, what do you want? Uh, still water with lemon. Bacon burger, a turbo cock. Why are you still here? Go do your job. He's gonna spit my coke, you know. I think Lucas was impressed with my good fathering skills. Hey, it's busy out there. Please tell me you made some matcha. Harold. Harold works for Auto Style Motorsport. Now this guy can get you anything. And I mean anything. Always. Always. Ah, uh, you blew again. Labona. No, she's best friends with Harold. Blind as a bat. Heart like a saint. Bad hair. But she's blind, so she doesn't know it. Sorry, again. Why are you serving, man? That white daddy of yours has got no soul. Ugh, wrong place, wrong time, huh? Hey, that all. He can ride one porcupine. Minus the brooks. You spit in his turbo? Yeah. <laughs> The sins of the father shall be revisited, but for it. You don't look like your brother. Ah, uh, no, you. You're my bitch. Blind, exactly. Look, man, you guys found a car yet? Hey, with those zoom dollars you gave me, I can't even buy a used ply of toilet paper. See, what's a guy to do to get a set of wheels around here? Phyllis and Cometh. Now, this is where the story kind of begins. Two crazy backyard biochemists called Phyllis and Cometh trying to save the world by making fuel out of cow manure with a splash of Nando's and Tabasco sauce. Why not? They're not so lack in the head, but I think they mean well. Phyllis, when I said add colors to things, what colors did you add, my friend? Yellow to yellow, blue to blue, and green to green. Why? What the hell are we doing here? Dude, I don't know, but when Fresh says jump, you jump. And what's with his western wind charms? I don't know, dude. Brad and Mark. Brad's the guy who looks like he's about to break the law. Mark, well, I mean, Vin Diesel looks like his sister. They work for Fresh, who's my only real competition on the track. And when you see these buffoons together, you know trouble's close by. Brother, what the hell are these guys doing? So I took the unleaded petrol, I added the lead, which made it lead replacement petrol. It can't be that hard to find. It's just a catalyst, my friend. Come up. What's what you doing, man? I mean, what's what you doing, man? Come What have you done?
Uh, as all the king's horses said to all the king's men, I do believe we've cracked it. Uh, did you see the bower in that stuff? It... <laughs> we put that stuff in the car. She's going to go like a rocket. Well, who's going to be dumb enough to test it for us? You gotta get out there and make some real matcha. How's he gonna do that, man? Gotta find a gap in the market. Gotta find a gap between your ears. Hold me back, please. Just hold me back. I'm hungry. Nando's. Oh, no, man, it's always Nando's. No Nando's. Nando's burger with cheese and pineapple. You've got a Dutchman yes, and a Pommy as best friends. Only in South Africa, I guess. Hot places. Ah, Phyllis. Hot girls. Rash. Lest we forget. How can you ever forget that? Have you been foraging for food? Your nut allergy's acting up again. Yeah, well, I told you I can't eat nuts, man. I should have equipped this thing with a GPS. Go to Nando's. Go to Nando's. What is that? This, my fine feather friend, is a spy pen. Speak. <laughs> nah, man, it's never gonna work, man. Speak into the microphone. Come on, stop playing Come on, games, stop playing please. Games, please. Hey! Can I get you anything? I would like a <clears throat> double right house burger with extra chili, slap chops vinegar, and a double thick mock shake, please. Crispy chicken burger, extra lettuce, extra mayo, and pom frites. I like them crispy. And a vanilla milkshake, please. You like that on wheels or with brakes? <laughs> uh, brakes? Here, my fine feathered friend. Borrow mine. Cool. I'll bring it back, huh? OK, coming up. Ah, oh, this place has changed. They come in. White girls and one coloured guy. You could have bought that spy pen at the spa shop. You know that, eh? It would have taken away the 007 or something, my friend. Lucky. Lucas. Hmm? What's with the puppy dog eyes now? It shouldn't work, yes. Hey, you like my place. My customers like you. You make good money. What is the problem? Same as always, I said. You are such a boy. Stop dreaming about the quarter mountain. Smile. He works. See? I mean, all I ever wanted here was a track and an engine in front of me. My hand on the wheel, my foot on the pedal. That's it. Go sell some food. It will take someone with Grande's cojones. We need a driver. Yeah, she needs a real driver, you know, somebody who could tuck tuck Norris over a twin cap. <laughs> we need a button sewn into a shoemaker. <laughs> We need a sorrel for him ever crossed with a, a Michael Hamilton. Lewis. And Lewis. You guys need a driver? No, but we need a genius. A genius with a clutch and a gear stick. Look, I can drive. I can drive anything. No, 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 Buti. This is driving under extreme conditions, OK? No, we can't let you drive it. No, 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 no. But if he really wants to, we can test him. Just tell me the place where and where and I'll be there. First, give me back my pen. Um. Second, give me my food, man, yes. But I have to do it around to get a chow. Okay, come on. 
Give it a bit of stick. Oh! Okay, try again. Welcome, gentlemen, lady. Oh, sounds like the sweet sound of brack pan to me. <laughs> you know it, man. What the hell is that? What now, Bunny Chow? Give me pictures, man. She's a beast. Ah. A beautiful thing. Come here. 1,100 cc's of pure unadulterated power. Enough talk. That's right, dudes. Phyllis, did you put that special fuel in here? Yes. Have fun, Louie. You really works, man. We're gonna have to find a, a really good driving instructor and a bigger engine, I think. <coughs> this is the Kuramal race day of the year. Xander van der Kloof, super wealthy, owns Neo Africa IT innovation and gadgets. Put it to you this way if James Bond owned a company, it'd be this one. Okay. Speak louder. And what have you got? Whilst your sources arise, those two idiots are taking that cow crap and turning it into biofuel. No way. It's true. We saw their own eyes. They blew up their lab. Take that crap, turn it into biofuel, and test drive their car. I need to meet with those two clowns. Make it happen. Will do. Hey, sorry, bro. Contacts dried up. I couldn't find your trainer. I think I found Elvis. Oh, guys, is there no one else? I thought you white these were meant to be connected, man. We are like Pinky and the Brain. Lab mice. Yeah, we put in the juice, somebody else puts foot. My dad was right. I'm stuck here with no luck, I'm gonna be here. No one for the rest of my life. Is, is this my destiny? A real man creates his own destiny. You've got to ask yourself, what do you want? Hmm? Then you've got to prepare. Practice. Luck. <laughs> Preparation plus opportunity equals luck. Like my good friend Gary Player used to tell me while he was doing press-ups. The more I practice, the luckier I get. Who's that, man? That, my darling, is Noel Oosthausen. Who? The only man alive to have straightened Jeremy Clarkson's hair. And the best pit mechanic in the history of pit mechanics. He was born with racing in his blood and a baboon spat in his hand. Yeah, it's all good, but he's still my father's best friend. Call me an Indian. That sounds like an opportunity to me. Come, Lucas. Shh. 
Any sudden movements. I don't trust us all. Is that okay here to hold your hand? No ways, dude. Nobody touches the angels, baby. We're gonna start in those. Cut. Now first, you gotta show me you can drive. Then we might get you something to drive in. I just can't Ash. Shake. That's an angel. Noel has trained the same way his whole life. He trained me. And I don't fit in the go kart. Hey, many mechanics. Uh uh, don't even think about it, brah. You take the pink one. <laughs> hey, betting's open. We can. Uh, Shane? Yanka? Let's warm this baby up. Job. You better put your helmet on, but. But it's only a go kart, hey, There's no only, there's no butt in this game, but. Put the helmet on and the neck brace. Pink neck brace, pink go kart. Suits you, Luke. Right. You guys ready? Let's burn oil. Ah! <laughs> Not as if you didn't keep up. Pretty impressive out there. Yeah, it's nothing to be embarrassed about. No one has ever beaten Angel on this track before. 
Does that mean that you're going to train, Lucas? Yeah, there's still some people I must talk to. Okay, then, uh, then we'll talk. See you. Cool. Hey, Lucas, uh, nice try, man. <laughs> Backyard biochemists. What do you know about them? Norris and Kokomo. Mm -hmm. They play with cow manure. And what have you heard? Do they have it right? What biofuel from cow manure? The only thing they've got right is concussion, man. They seem to think they've got it right. Well, then they must bring it to the next meet and we see. You're gonna be there. I think now I am, yes. So those boys in trouble with you? Just got a bit of debt to collect. That's what I do. Well, if you collect debt from common you, then you must do what you gotta do. I collect. Goodbye. Let's go, boys. issues with him in front of Kloof. I don't have issues. Okay? I just beat them, you know? Yeah. What do you want, no? Your boy. I must look at him. Yeah. He wants me to train him. You want to bring that light to you onto your team? He's got your jeans. He can drive. He wants to race. Amber, let's go. I need an answer, Solly. Do what the hell you like, you always have. Hey. Easy on that clutch, eh? Sunshine. Well, at least the, uh, the engine looks all right. Time to beat some panels, my friend. Come on! Please, man, be to a different rhythm, man. Learn to play that radiator and I will. Come and get my phone, please, man. My phone. Hello, Phyllis here. Yeah, man. How you doing? I work for Xander van der Kloof. He'd like to meet with you and your spank buddy. Spank buddy? Would you like to meet with Xander van der Kloof? What's it about? What is it about? It's about your biofuel. It's about the biofuel. Hmm. Okay, listen, we'll meet with you. You must just tell us where and when, okay? Yeah. Okay, just. Hey, man! Who's your spank, buddy? Don't make me throw this water on you, please. Calm down. Immediately. Is we geniuses? Or is we geniuses? Wow. Yes. Nah, you guys are geniuses. Look at her. We, we know. She looks 
brand new. I mean, I can't believe this. Can you believe this? Lucas. Lucas, you don't, deserve it, don't, Luke. don't, don't, don't. Please don't roll her again. Ever again. I guys, won't, guys. Go I, easy won't. Anyway. I won't. I won't. I won't. Duff's cooked and you tell these us, I don't want to see any leaks afterwards. I clap them if there's leaks. Absolutely. Right? Yeah, no. Yeah, no, I just wanted to know if you talk again about what I, what I want to do with your liking. What do you want from me, no? I told you last night. Do what you want to do. What do you want your liking to do good? I want that liking to do anything, man. Anything. But be a wannabe. I don't want to see him as a wannabe. You know what I think, so? I think you're chicken. I think you think that if I train your liking, he gets on that track with you, seven sorts of dwang on <laughs> no, bring it on. Bring it on, please. I'm chicken for nothing. Yeah. Can you take a punch? Yeah. Big offices, eh? Why can't he meet in an office like most normal people? What are you doing? I want to be in disguise. I don't want you to recognize me. The man's expecting us. He knows what we look like. Well, what are you eating? This is the smartest jacket I have. Well, it's not very smart. I like it. Well, it looks like a girl's jacket, okay? He doesn't even have a normal PA. It's the kind of woman that gives me the heebie jeebies, eh? Nice car, though. Very nice. Do you think he's trying to make excuses for something else? You two must be Phyllis and Cometh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep it, Jimmy's, eh? Yeah, 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 we are. Mr. Van Kloof will see you now. Sorry? How? Where is he? You'll know when he arrives. <laughs> Let's talk biofuel. Let's talk. Don't shout! He is? My dirty little friend. I'm Phyllis. Good. So, somehow you've extracted a fuel to which you've added a catalyst. Yes, we have. We drop it in. You've got it. I want it. How much? Uh, no, no, no. We, 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 we think that... We uh, believe. Thank you. We believe. People must know how it works. Everyone. You want to go open source with it? Yes. We do. Yes. I think it's a really bad idea. Let's talk figures. not for sale. As my friend Oprah says, we're gonna go large. Get it to your soup for me. I'm gonna fly. Call me, okay? He's very tall, that man. But he was standing here. Oh, of course, he was on step, that's right. <laughs> That's why he was looking down on us. It's unbelievable. Through that nose of his. Do you know that that geezer is a spitting image of Kurt Darren? I know. Stranger things have happened. No, Kurt Darren is much, much, much better looking. Bother. No, once I get this piston out, I'm gonna put the rings on. It should be all right, eh? So I spoke with Osoli. Yeah? You know that Lucas Lighty is his son, eh? Mm. Osoli says I can train him if I want. Really? Yeah, he's not very happy about it. He's quite pissed off, actually, but. 
And? Do you want to? Yeah. I stopped training a long time ago. Well, then you trained me, remember? Mm. But you especially. I hope I still am. <laughs> what do you see in this light, dear? I see his future on. Hey, how's it? Hey. Not much, eh? Just at the shop. Look, I just thought you'd want to know. Oh, Noel reckons he'll train you. No way. Yes, ways. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. The overall there by the workshop. Why don't you go and put it on? Okay. Pretty mm -hmm. lighty. Thank you. Yep. Oh. <sighs> Tires. <laughs> they get you the grip. They keep you on the road. And they're your best friend. Now, uh, these tires have to be spread around the track, huh? So, go and learn. Hmm? Come on. <laughs> Let's go. All right, you two girls obviously know what to do. And you, Luke, are going to stack the tires on the corner over there. Can you tell me, what does this have to do with learning me how to drive? Well, tell me about the tire, then. Looks cool to me. Look, you never put a retread on a performance vehicle, man. Why do you want to insult your baby, man? Plus, it's like way too much stress on the tyres. Well, Cometh and Phyllis will handle all of that. Cometh and Phyllis. But it ain't them racing out there, Luke. It's you behind the wheel in the strip, man. Your tyres have to kick you off and keep you pushing and pushing out there. Look, I'm just saying, tyres are important, you know? And believe me, Luke, Tires are the one thing we've got to trust in. Now I'm 
will be here at the Rock Raceway for the Big Boss Auto Drag Championships. Brought to you by Auto Style Motorsport and Big Boss Auto. Chad, what do we have in store today? Because it's a huge, huge day. That's like Hollywood, folks. Race is here in the last an hour. This is reality. It's 12 seconds. Short, sweet, to the point. Nothing but adrenaline and racing. Well, this is the final round of the Big Boss Auto Drag Championship. This is what the whole year has been building up to, scoring points and accumulating points. All right, so of course today is a very, very big day, and today is a really, really hot day. I mean, we are dying in studio here. Can you imagine what the cars are like outside? How will that affect the race? They're going to be backing out there. They're going to have to keep their wits about them. All right, well, someone please get them a fan, because they are going to need it today. Now, getting into the hot stuff, we have the first race lined up for us. Who do we have here? All right, first race up, I'll be the first wall in the end of the Here for Lucas in the biofuel powered Mark 1 Golf. The Golf been working well for him today. Can he take it? Yes, Lucas has taken the win. He is your amateur class vector for today. Wow, that kid's quite impressive. World class. It's either that or the cow done. It works. Mm, you didn't know we have the Neo Africa challenge coming up. Answer me. Oh, sorry. Uh, I thought it was rhetorical. Of course I do. One million rand first prize. Sponsored by me. Posters are out. Can't change that now. Nope. I will not be embarrassed by some backyard machinery you run on. Fish and chips oil and cow dung. For sure. You're my driver. Go out and get me some of that biofuel. Yeah, but first I must beat that bastard Solly. Very important. We've got to box clever. You mean box clever, boss? Don't get caught. My man, I stick a pop in his face and say, give me the fuel, Oak. Give me the fuel, Oak. Yeah. What's wrong with you? No guns. We're trying to jack fuel here, and we can't afford for Mr. Van der Kloof to know this. OK, so what's the plan, boss? Bring me a spark plug from the golf. Boss, you just said you want the fuel. The fuel will obviously be hidden. Bring me a spark plug, and let's see if they've modified it. Okay. We'll get the plug. Get the plug. We'll get the plug. Tell us a bit about the cars that they're driving. Now, these are two very strong cars. Uh, Solly from the Maverick is in a Lexus Sora, while Fresh is in a Toyota Supra. It's the Mark IV Toyota Supra. Both of them are actually running the same type of motor. It's a 2JZ GTE motor. It's turbocharged. Both vehicles are coupes. Both vehicles are rear-wheel drive. These guys are going to get out of the box so strong. These are the guys to watch. Solly van der Merwe has been killing the opposition time and time again. This is a grudge match for Fritsch. Right, oh, it's tons of power off the line there for both drivers. Fresh breaking out into wheels but snaking down the road. This gives Solly the advantage here. He's going to run at Zora all the way to the line for the worst. Fresh, my man. I don't. Le Bonner, different cars racing different classes, eh? Yeah. Solly and Fresh are the main event. They top the bill. Yeah. End of the day. We'll have Lucas up there. Promise you by the next meet, but okay, I can't promise. Just need you a top of the range car, my friend. Wait, wait. Hot car. Hot warm up. Thanks. Check this out. Hey, so any of the stickies want to go for a joyride? <laughs> well, anyways, just a thought. Yeah. Keep winning. I'll see you around. 
Ja? Aha. Lucas, I think she likes you, but what are you going to do about that? The more you win the race, the more the stackies will chase. Mm. You and I should have a little chat now. Hey, hey Mr. Mr. Van der Merwe. Come, lad. I'll be back. What, man? Keep walking. Don't trust that, OK? What do you think you're doing? You are not good enough to race me. This point right now is where the kid has had enough. I could feel the love building between us. Here it comes. Why do you hate me? What did I do? What? Uh, am, I, am I a loser? You know who's the loser here? You. You lost that life. You lost that being a father for me. You lost at being a husband. You ran away. Where were you when we needed you? Uh, you, th you think you have a say over me? You have to earn that right to have a say over me. Wait! You know, you're such a tepid cover. Let me put the spark plugs in properly first, man. We need to make sure my custom-made spark plugs are strong enough to handle the extra juice. Go. Do it. Maybe we should try from over there. Yeah, maybe we should. Right, give it some juice. <laughs> I love this part. <laughs> I hope these spark plugs work, my boot. They will. Don't you worry. They will. And juice it. Something's drawing the power. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, you go over there and have a look, and I'll try from here. And juice. <laughs> Oh, well, at least we know it's working. Oh, uh, I'm gonna go uh, lie down a bit. I think it's coming. So, what did you find? Burnt fingers and a flippin' bare mood. Where's my spark plug? So you got nothing? Nothing, boss. But boss, I've got a gun. Let me go back there. I promise you, I'll bring you back your spark plug. Just let me go in my gun. You got nothing. Got a gun. Get out. Shocking. Carl Hong Williams in the left hand lane in the S14. He goes up against Mike Sotlich in the Evo 2. Well, strong launch from the S14. That will take you all the way to the line. Clowns of yours been up to. What is it to you? Well, they're staggering around like they're drunk on my boot. I mean, what are you saying? They're working on your car? It's the only way you'd ever get to beat me. Funny guy. I'm a comedian. You've got to watch that, eh? People could start laughing at you, fresh. In fact, keep smiling. You don't want to get serious with me. Ah. Oh, I'd say the honeymoon's over. I think you and I are very serious by now. Solly, I'm coming for you. You make me feel so wanted. Trust me, I won't be looking for you fresh. Show you. Laurel, how 
Buddy, get your sorry asses back in here. I swear my man never wants to pump backwards. Boss. Every single race day, I win. I win. And then I face that solid fund of Merva. Well, he's pissed me off one last time. And this is that? It has its own magnet. Attach it to his axle near his front wheel. Are we clear? Crystal? I keep the remote. Whoa, dude, that's, that's, that's a bomb. Arm it, attach it, walk away. I do the rest. Today, I win. This is a bomb. It's a bomb. It's a bomb. So we're not expecting great launches here from them, but they can still run quick times. All right, well, let's see what the times are as soon as they get ready to get off the block. All right, they're both into stage there and wait for the flag to drop. The flag has dropped. Oh, that's just put it on like fresh said, and let's just get out of here. Put I need to arm it first. It's the switch. Put it's a bomb. Sometimes I don't know about this job. It's the only job I know, but. As they do their burnout routine and they get ready to get under starter's orders, let's wait and see what happens here. All right, the driver's pulling to stage and the flag's drop. It's a great launch from Sully van der Merwe. Fresh lagging behind the love of it. Solly's out, Solly's out. All right, people, Solly seems to be all right. We have some movement there. Everything seems to be okay. What a brilliant debut performance here for Lucas. A hero both on the track and off the track. I'm a champion. Fresh, where the hell are you? I need the fuel and I need the catalyst. If those two crates go open source with this fuel, the whole world's economy could crash. Fresh, where are you? Hell of a day, huh? Well, it's gotta feel pretty cool in the winner and hero. No? Huh? Well, I should feel like a king. Yeah. But all I feel is really slick. Why, man? I don't know, you know, every dream that I wanted happened today. Exactly. But something's not sitting in the groove. Ma. So? I won, Ma. 
every race. I won my class, and I'm the first rookie ever to do that. It was everything I ever wanted. And? Ah, oh, ma, I don't know. I should be happy and proud, but I'm not. I told you, that world is not your world. I, I won in that world. Ma, I've wanted today since I was six years old. Maybe you wanted that world, his world. Ma, I love racing because of the racing, not because of him. I told you, those white boys are using you. Ma, they don't care what color I am. Your father did. He cared so much. We never saw him again. He was in an accident today, and I dragged him out of the car. You see, you boys, you just an accident are waiting to happen. Hey. Lucas! And that is how you make sweaty cheese. <laughs> Harold, if you touch my chips one more time, I'm going to smack the Indian straight out of you. Why you touch my buns, eh? I didn't touch your buns. <laughs> touch my buns. Why are you looking at me like that, eh? Cockeyed. What happened to you? <laughs> he dared me to juggle four shifting spanners, and I can only do three. Ah, uh, for real, for real, guys. It's you, Angel. That's why he's so blue. You're a hot cherry, and a hot cherry is never good for a guy. Yo, check it out, Lips. I don't think he's seeing straight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, I see all. And I, mm, I smell a Lucas. How does she do that, baby? There you go. Hey, what's up? Hey, How's it? How are you? You win, you whine. What's up? I don't know. My mom says it's not my world, it's his world. A white is world, huh? That's, like that's your mom. It's all about the race, Joe. Boom, boom. You know, Lucas, at the end of the day, we just cabbies, man. As Hillary said to Bill, explain. Well, we all Toyotas, okay? It's just the body paint is different. And the chassis? Yeah, and the chassis. I gotta go. I don't know. Uh, I have to drive. Hey, black men don't cry. What's up? What's up? Uh, Bones is left there. You. Hey. I thought you'd be out celebrating. You left. I got involved. These men, sir. These boys drive their cars, babe. Well, well, if it isn't the monkey in the Mark I. <laughs> what the he doing here? We're just hanging, Vince. OK. It's a nice car. <clears throat> so you stole yourself a big boss sticker. Can you drive this thing? He knows he can. So you talk for him, OK? So how about a dice, monkey boy? I don't do street, man. <laughs> That's what I thought. You can take him, Lucas. Oh. You can take him, Lucas. Come. Do it. Come, man. Deal. No, Lucas. Stop. Stop. Right. Listen, buddy. You climb in your car, hit first, second, out of here. Bye-bye, monkey. Beth, Lucas, get in. Just go. I'll race you for her. She's already mine. Why don't you just climb in your car and duck? Don't you want to prove that, Vince? Yeah, Vince. What the hell? OK. Are you climb in your car? I'll see you in the street.
In the movies, car accidents always happen very slowly. In real life, they go very fast. You blew my front wheel, fresh. <laughs> That's a rather inflammatory statement, Solly. Better have a long spoon if you want to sup with the devil, my friend. You better get out of here, man. Mr. Von Amava, I have a proposition for you. Shoot. The next big race day is... New Africa Challenge. Million bucks first prize, yeah? Correct. Now, your son. I do my research. I know he's the one that pulled you out of the wreckage. I also know that he won his last few major races with the fuel made by those two crazy biochemists. Yeah. Fresh over here has consistently failed. The deal is I go race for Van der Kloof. I win. His company gets some fake Bravo well done and I get a million bucks. Revenge on fresh. Well, that's just a chocolate on the pillow. How's that, Angel? Hey, like this, you're right. Hey, Oaks. Speak. I'm here, I'm right. Ow! You do that to me again, I'll hunt you down and I'll kill you. Hey, step away from the injured. What are you doing racing the streets, man? That is the one thing your dad said he will never do. I don't know, I got involved now. You think you look bad? You should see my baby. It's mothered. Sorry. I said mothered in front of his mother. You got a deal. Glad to hear it. Revenge is a dish best served cold. That's only starters fresh. Just chill. A deal? No reason for my decision. So, she really a right off. Off, my friend. Completely off. Looks like a mini golf. But we have a plan. Lucas, I got a couple of words for you. Upgrade. Upgrade. We're gonna go bigger, better, and faster. Fun. Lucas, I mean, Lucas. You realize that you're going to be racing against your father. Oh, guys. Forget it, all right? I'm not going to race again. No, man, Lucas. This is your chance to dial out the valley, Carol. show the soul, Carol. show the side. Carol. Don't fight for the soul, hey! Carol. What? It's not going to work. What do you mean this isn't going to work? Lucas, no, Lucas, please understand this. You're the champion. You can't just give up like that. What's that about, Luke? Oh, I knew I was right. I don't want this here. I don't get you. You spent your whole life whining about where you're from, how tough it was, and what a loser you were. And now finally, you get something good, and you just want to throw it all away as well. It's time you focus on what you want, Luke. You don't know how I'm feeling right now. Well, whatever it is, Snap out of it, man. No. What's it? Ach, no, man. Where is he? Okay, I'm on my way. Angel. I knew now was the time to show this kid some love. Where's my flowers? On your grave, little punk. How's your mind, eh? You pull me out of a wreck and then you go drag on the streets. Are you more? I've learned my lesson. No, you haven't, because little Vin got 
punks like you don't learn, you die. Now when you leave here, you're going back to that burger house, you're serving burgers because that's what you're good for. Shut up. Shut up. Don't say a word. You all cleaned up and you back like a rash. Mind you at the uh, house. I had to see those for myself. Is it true? Yeah. You saw my car, my car's closed. I don't get you. What? You stand up to these people all your life. Now you join them. I can't beat them. But you beat them all the time. What do you care? You, you're not in the race anymore. I changed my mind. I changed my mind. I am racing. And I'm racing for a moment. Somebody needs to take him down. Is that right? You. Huh? You left mom. You left me. Now you leave yourself. Be careful with this. Things you don't know. I know enough. I'll see you on the street. Ah, look who's walking. But still not driving. I thought I smelled something. Have you seen the Speed and Sound magazine? Did you see what Solly's done? What's it matter to you, man? It's not your story anymore. Look, you said you're gonna get me a car to take him on. I told him I'm taking him on at the Odyssey. What makes you think we even need you anymore, Lucas? Yeah, bye. So who you got? They've got Vince, Baba. He whooped you on the streets and he whooped you on the track. Jake. <laughs> Is that true, gents? No. But it could be. Lucas, we need that million land. We need to refine our fuel. We have to make it in quantities. Yeah, you hot, and then you cold, buddy. Yeah, you're causing pain all over the damn place here, man. There. Bye. Yeah, go make better with her. Before I go, what happened to you, Amy? I shut up. I walked into a door. Go. <laughs> is there something wrong with my eye? Come if, is there something wrong with my eye? I told you. You look like you've been foraging for nuts. to see you.
I snapped out of it, huh? I know what I want. I'm getting back on the track. Did you hear about Sully? Yeah, well, that um now is to kill him. I just want to beat him, man. How are you gonna do that, Luke? You don't even have a car. I'm gonna have to make a plan, huh? Ah, well, have you made up your mind yet? Yes or no, I want to race. Uh, you want to get back at your dad? Yeah, I just want to beat him, man. Uh, you forget about him, man. What you got to do now is you got to focus on racing against the clock. You got to ignore everything else and just beat that 12 second barrier. Then you can start thinking about him, man. Yeah. How's it? How's it? Hey, guys. Uh, hey, bro. We up? made it, Worm, now. Tell me you took yeah, good care of my baby. Obviously. Luck. Just in time. Dude, let's go. That's right. Go, 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 Petrochemical engineers and Angel and me thought it was time you had a get well car. You have <laughs> been pimped, my friend. <laughs> we even named her for you. We call her Sonia. Sonia's gonna bomb you. Vince, you better watch out. <laughs> Vince, don't stand some chance. No chance. Vince, who? Oh, Vince, man. Let's do this. I'm ready to kick some butt. Yes, man! <laughs> right, here's the decision. I win. I make a million bucks. I make fun of Cliff look good. And I crush all my son's dreams. It's a bit of a no-brainer, really. at the Rock Raceway, brought to you by Neo Africa. Myself, Kua Ganga and Chad Lukov will be keeping you up to speed on all the things that are happening on the track today. Chad, how are you doing? I'm doing very well, thank you. Just glad to be back here. We've got a cracking day ahead of us. Uh, we saw thrills and small Solly van der Merwe writing his car off down at the bottom there. Mechanical failure seems to be the problem. Hmm, very, very interesting. I doubt that, but according to the marshals, that is what it is. Of course, today is scorching yet again. Now, of course, the guys are used to the heat from yesterday, so today is still going to be hard, but I guess they're used to what's going on. Now, you said that Solly van der Merwe is back. Hmm, very interesting. New car, of course. I did see him in new car. and phenomenal. <laughs> GTR. People, you want to see this. He's back with the vendors. I think he's got a bone to pick, actually. All right, cool. Now, if you had to pick someone today that's really going to go out there and challenge the races, who is that going to be? Uh, for me, it would have to be the young Lucas in that biofuel-powered Mark 1. He absolutely ripped through the competition the other day, ran phenomenal times. He, he was just driving with utmost precision. He's the one to watch today. He, too, is in a new car today. Very, very interesting. All right, so we got two brand new cars on the track. Speaking about cars and tracks, first race is up. Who do we have in this one? All right, here we got Peter Smit and Carlos von Billion. Peter Smit behind the wheel of that R34 Skyline GTS. He's going to be going up against the S14 of Carlos von Billion as they go through their warm up routine. There we go, flags drop, and they're off to great launch there for Carlos von Billion. Seems they're using cash and transit. Pull it from the side, sparks across the road, and voila. And Solly hits those sparks, and bam, the tires are gone. Bang, 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 bang! Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you want to just lay it across the track? Yeah. On the biggest race day of the year? 
That's enough, guys, enough. Today, I just drive faster. Good. Wasn't he the one who asked us to blow up the tire in the first place? Huh? Mo. All right. All right, I see the guys are getting ready for the second race of the day. Who do we have? All right, our next pairing here is Relinda Toy, a lady driver. And it's oh, great yes, to see good. Doing she's, for the be she's behind the wheel of that R32 Skyline. It's an R33 Skyline for Tim Stevens. That's her opponent. Now, I believe that there's a little more than just some friendly rivalry going on there, if you know what I mean. Oh, nice. But let's see how this pans out. Someone is sleeping on the couch tonight. <laughs> the flags drop and they're off. Just, just perfect, Tim Stevens. Someone's on the couch tonight, definitely. Somebody for sure. is sleeping on the couch tonight. I hear, I believe it's actually like him. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta throw it. You have some experience in that department. And a Mavis has to win. You got it. <sighs> Do you understand, my man? I understood you ten times the first time, Xander. It's Mr. Vanderkloof. But it doesn't mean I'll do it, Xander. Some of the guys haven't been stepping up to the plate. Sadly, no. Some of them have been really disappointing. Uh, some of them have made a fantastic charge throughout the entire year, and then just towards the end, they just lost the plot and the wheels fell off. One such competitor is Fresh. Fresh has clearly been off his game this year. We're going to have to see what he can bring to the table today. We're under starter's orders now as we wait for the flag to drop. And there it goes. It's a great launch. Up to that moment, I had only been beating Fresh. But now, I was going to crush him. I was looking so forward to I was looking forward to seeing him in the race today. And now, of course, he's out of the running. Totally out of the running, not even making a, an impact here today whatsoever. It's very, very disappointing. Next up, it's a big race for young Lucas. He's upper class in the BWS Garocco. It's powered by that biofuel. He's going to be going up against this nice looking Puma. Let's see if it has what it takes to take on the mighty Scirocco. Oh, it's a good launch from the Scirocco as he rockets out of the blocks. The Puma doesn't stand a chance been making an impact is the new biofuel. Now you mentioned a little earlier, of course Lucas has been racing with it. What is the whole biofuel about? Well, believe it or not, biofuel is a safe green fuel source made from cow manure. Cow manure. Believe it or not. Okay, now I definitely would not want to be standing behind a car when it takes off. I'm not too sure that the technology is that advanced that you'd want to be standing there just yet. <laughs> Lucas has plowed his way through the field and now he goes up against the mighty supercharged and nitrous fed BMW M. But he makes it look so easy and he's through to the finals. I am a lousy father. But you only have to be good at one thing in life and I'm a very good racer. But it was beginning to dawn on me. There might be more to life. They're getting up onto the starting line now for the Lucas and Sony Funda Mava race, the race that we've all been looking forward to the whole day today, our final race as well. So uh, let's see if the guys get ready. They've done the starting warm-ups and all that sort of stuff. Let's to wrap it up and take a look at that beautiful machine of Sony Funda Mava, Nissan GTR R35, an absolute beast. What a beast. Will you change it? What do you think? Yeah, go to the sticks, huh? Let's do it, Nick. Take it away. Good luck. The crowd is on their feet as they do battle as they bring it up. The VW Scirocco on the biofuel there with Lucas, but a Nissan GTR R35. For Sonny van der that's a new toy that he brought to the track today. Let's see how this one pans out. There's a lot riding on this race. This is the one, ladies and gentlemen, you want to get your cameras out for this. You want to be watching this race. Here we go. The guys are through their warm-up routine. You can see the intense look of concentration on both they, the driver's faces really through the visors. Here we go. This is it, ladies and gentlemen, the final race of the day. Sonny van der with a great start there. 
Let's buy a fuel scarocco. Absolutely owning him here. Here we go. At the line. It's anybody's race. Lucas comes off it. Oh, and it's only for the Mabba that takes the win. Would you look at that? Ladies and gentlemen, you could have asked for a better result. Solly must be elated. He's just walked away with one million rand, the grand prize. Lucas, losing out here, has to settle for second position. Oh, it's been such a great day of racing. Can you believe it? What a great race to end off such a spectacular day. An absolutely phenomenal, phenomenal run to end the day. This is the one that people are going to take home with them in their minds. This is the one that they're going to remember. None more so than Soli van der Merwe. What a season for this man. He is now cool one million rand richer. We're all loving it. We're taking this home. It's sweet dreams tonight. All right. Well, definitely from us, it's time to say goodbye. And we're leaving you on the highest note that we possibly can. From myself, Kruya Ganga, and Chan Lukov. The us, signing out. Good night and bye-bye. I'm not so sure Lucas actually wants to race. I have a feeling he wants a father. Thing is, I don't know if I'm ready to have a son. Uh -huh. Come here to Rabiki. Nah, I came to say well done. I lost. Yeah, you might have lost. But you still came first. Money doesn't fix things, but it sweetens the deal. Fresh got served for a second and third course. The car? Wow, that was just dessert. Lucas is teaching me to be the best father I can be. And I'm training him to be the greatest racer this country's ever seen.